Hey y'all, I'm Dr. John. I'm a pediatric dentist here at PDAO. And today we're going to be going over some teething tips uh, for your infant or toddler at home. So I get this question pretty frequently. Uh, it's like, you know, Dr. John, uh, you know, it's been really tough with the teething lately. You know, she's cutting teeth. They're coming in the back. The molars are coming in. It's really intense. She's crying all the time. She's really cranky. Uh, what can we do? We've tried this. We've tried this, 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 and nothing seems to work. Or maybe it just buys us a little bit of time, but ultimately she's still having a really tough time. So let me give you some practical tips that you can use that makes your life a little easier and hopefully can help your little one at home. So tip one that I can think of for um, addressing your uh, teething toddler or infant at home is you can um, introduce some things to help kind of stimulate the gingiva or the gums as the teeth are coming in. Sometimes um, that may likely um, increase the rate at which the teeth come in and it may also offer them a little bit of relief as they have something that's easy to chew on. Um, and kind of can relax their gums a little bit. For, for my wife and I, we recently went on Amazon and we purchased a, a toddler teething stick. Um, and uh, it's very, very, very low choking hazard. Um, she can chew on it. We don't let her walk around with it. We just hold it in our hands and she can chew on that. That, that seems to give her some relief. Um, so things like that, that you can find, maybe some other things that vibrate um, and kind of can mechanically stimulate the gums a little bit and offer some pain relief. Um, things that you can maybe place some frozen fruits in and they can chew on that while sitting down at like a dinner table or in your lap um, can also help soothe the gums, kind of numb the gums at least temporarily and buy them some relief while they're you know kind of working through that. Teething tip number two for your toddler or infant is um, it's actually something that I want to recommend to all parents uh, to try your very best to avoid um, and that is uh, oral gel. A lot of people you know, everyone knows Aura Gel. A lot of people use Aura Gel for um, gum pain or maybe like a, a toothache in the interim while they're waiting for a dental visit. Um, but the issue with toddlers and infants is teething. It does last for quite some time, sometimes several, several months or a couple years. And, and so using Aura Gel chronically is not the best or safest way to uh, kind of address, you know, teething issues while at home or elsewhere. And the reason is there's actually a statement that was produced by the FDA that came out just a few years ago that actually linked chronic usage or uh, misuse of Oragel uh, in any capacity to a condition called methemoglobinemia. And what that is, if you look it up online, it's just a really fancy word which basically means that the blood undergoes some changes that aren't ideal. And so it's, it's particularly not very safe or, or healthy for your infant and toddler to use this uh, to avoid teething discomfort. Maybe use something else uh, to um, kind of give them some relief at home, like something they can chew on or something of that nature. And if they need medication, um, because it's maybe it's particularly bad one day, they've been crying off and on for a whole hour and they seem to be in a lot of distress. It's not a bad idea to administer a, you know, reasonable small amount of infant or children's Tylenol liquid if they are okay and clear to receive Tylenol. And you can see the dosing instructions on the back and just follow them very clearly. And, and sometimes that can buy your little one some relief. So yeah, if you have any questions or comments about teething or some approved or, you know, concerning methods for how to deal with teething while you're at home or elsewhere, uh, feel free to leave a comment below. Let us know what you think. And, and if you have any things that you've done at home, which have been particularly effective and given your loved little ones some relief, uh, we're always wanting to hear more ideas about how to address that. And so we can offer it to more patients and give people hope and encouragement during that tough time. Uh, so thank you.